Hey, this is O'Connor, and we're going to have a look at how we can, can clone a hard drive onto a SSD and get great life or breed new life into your old laptop. What I've got here is a Protege. It's a Protege R700 made by Toshiba. So there we have here. There's our Toshiba there. And currently there's a hard drive inside it that's 500 gigabytes. And we want to replace it with this SSD 240 gigabytes. And so the first question you're probably asking is, how do you actually replace it with an SSD of a different size? How do you actually clone? Well, we can do that with a software called Aomi. That's the Aomi Super Backupper. Okay, and this will enable you to actually clone onto a SSD drive, which is actually smaller than your current hard drive. So let's get to it. Show power in there. Okay, so now what we've got here, we've got our look at our Kingston, it's a 240 gigabyte SSD, you can see that. Okay, all right, and now it's got plugged into the power and that USB 3 here, and now we've got our Aomi backup, and let's just see if we can go back and we go to disk clone, and let's just see if we can. So, so far, we've looked in the Explorer and all you can see is the C drive. We cannot find this yet. So what we're going to do is go to, go up to Manage here and then we're going to click on Manage. And what's that going to show up is the protocol for computer management. And so now we're going to click on Device Manager. And now hopefully what will show up is the drives that are available. So when we want to go to the hard drives. Now what we want to do now is go to disk management under storage. So we go under disk management under storage. So we click on here. And now we've got this shows up disk zero disk one and so here we finally we can see the SATA disk it's unallocated so we want to click on this and we want to create it as a primary petition more actions let's see what we can do here what we want to do is New simple volume, simple volume method, and then next volume size. Okay, we're going to create a volume method, assign a drive letter E, and so then we're going to create format. We're going to format this partition, quick format is good. Next, and so let's finish. And let's see what happens. So it's formatting the SATA drive now. This has been formatted. And so let's see what happens. So the formatting has finished. So now let's go to the Explorer. And now we can see the new volume E is existing where it didn't exist before. So we've got volume E, it's empty. And how much space have we got on it? We've got 223 gigabytes. Here, 228 left. We might have to we might have to take out some of the files here so we have more enough space to go onto the new volume. So we're back again, we're ready to start the cloning because now we know we can actually see this. The computer has identified our SSD. And so let's uh, click on the software. Yes, and it's hopefully it will see the new SSD when the software opens up. Got the Aomi backup. Okay, so we want to clone, and then we want to disk clone, and now disk one is a source disk, and so, and then we've got the next one. The destination disk is going to be the new volume. Okay and then we click on next and 
the existing partitions will be overwritten and deleted. So we go yes. Okay, so now with the source disk, we've got the destination disk and we want to click aligned partition to optimize SSD. This is particularly important because the SSD is smaller than the source disk and so we can start the clone process. And so what we will do is come back in about an hour or two hours when it's done and see what happens. Okay, so we have now successfully cloned the hard mechanical drive, which is nearly 500 gigabytes in memory, to the SSD, which is 240 gigabytes. So that's why you'll find that half of the hard drive is taken up all of the space of the our Kingston 240 gigabyte SSD. So what we're going to do now is we're going to replace the hard drive inside with the Kingston. So let's uh, get to it, shall we? So we need to go back to, we need to shut down the computer. So we click on here and we want to shut down the computer. So we shut down and make sure the computer's turned off. And so we're going to pull out the the power and the USB 3 connection for the SSD and so we can pull that apart and so here's our SSD here we're going to close the computer okay so what we're going to do now is take the battery off and so let's undo the lock there and then we can pull that back and so now we first of all the hard drive is here but we need to unconnect here first so then we're going to take this screw off here and then off here and then suddenly this section will come out and now we want to go to the hard drive part so we need to do a screw here that we need to take off and here we need to take off okay and so now we can lift that panel off and there is our hard drive and we can normally there's a little lift that will help you lift it out but I Obviously, it's missing, so I've had to, there it is there, the little lip. I should have had that properly set up. But anyway, here is our mechanical hard drive, and there it is. And that's our 500 gigabyte hard drive. We want to swap it with our Kingston 240, and so that's going to slip in here, exactly as the other one slipped out. Now that can go straight in here like that with the lip, and then we can screw it back together and screw that back on top. And this one is back in and then we're going to put the other panel back on and we can tighten that up and then then we're good okay so there we go and then we can put the battery back in turn around and let's see if it works shall we let's hope fingers crossed it's turned on powering up and so let's have a look good 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 so far and much faster than before and so let's see what we can get user one two three and there we have it and we're in so let's just check to see uh, clone disk size going to Explorer and so now we can find out the PC so now I'm just showing you that we have half 213 gigabytes for the new SSD and also the clone operation created two partitions one of about nine gigabyte and one of half a gigabyte and later we can delete these but for now just to show you that we once had a half a terabyte hard drive now we only have a 240 SSD involved and this is faster now and it's all ready to go old computer is made new again because we've got SSD drive in the hard drive